You know, there's a rumor that Bill Gates once said to get a difficult task done, give it to a lazy person. I think that's where America was like. The average age of African leaders is 8.1. The average age of Trump and Biden is 79.5. <laughs> America. We should make you an official party to welcome you to the WhatsApp group. Now you understand that these things are not complicated as you thought. It's not a very hard decision. It just happens to you. It just comes. It doesn't need any special skills. Actually, for you people, it's even beyond us because you have two people above 75 in your election. Now that's a first. Eh? Like, go big or go home, right? They say a thief without opportunity thinks he's an honest man. I mean, you, you look at Donald Trump. If, if Trump was an African president, like, if Trump was president of Rwanda, he would be moving around with a constitution in his car. Portable, editable format. Make Rwanda great again. Muruga. Trump. Biden. 78. 81. 81. 81. Like, I know inclusivity is a thing now. But I think you guys are over-including. Don't get me wrong. I'm for diversity. I'm for practicing diversity. Like, variety. I just feel Biden, Biden might be a bit ambitious. You're taking this thing of respecting your elders a little too far. Because we, we do the same here. We do just that our elders, as our elders, their, the responsibilities of their fingers don't include pressing nuclear buttons. It is an international standard that when people get that old, they get grumpy, maybe they into old. Small things piss them off. They are throwing unnecessary tantrums. You can't have such a person in charge of decision on nukes. Because you go around Biden doing careless jokes of, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Okay. Okay. We shall see where you see yourself in the next five minutes. It's going to be four years of handling that man nicely. 81. In Uganda, insurance companies stop covering you at 65. After that, you're on your own. Eh? After 65, it is the insurance company that should be covered against you. Eh? Because for you, you're surely about to happen. 80 years, average age. You guys, presidential candidates are so old, in terms sort of supplements, they better be taking preservatives. And I think you're lucky because you finally have an election where there's no better candidates, which is a good thing. So whoever you vote, there's nothing you're missing out. That's a fast, America. That's a fast. You really went all out on this one. Bible says all leadership comes from God. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Uh, some... This feels like an inside job, like comedy. I'm, I'm sure even God is in heaven, like, mm -mm. all angels like, ah. Because I assure you, if Biden wins that election, someone else is definitely going to be running that country. Let's be honest. Biden can't run that country. Biden can't even just run. And then if Trump wins him, he will actually be running the country. And that's a problem. If Biden wins during his term, you better not have emergencies. I don't think he, he likes to be in a hurry. And he doesn't look like his heart is of the age that is good with bad news. He, he's not the kind of president who will be rushing into the air to play the Fifth and World Trade Center. It will be very reckless information. You would have to manage it until the next president. Or maybe one day he's driving around, he's like, there's a building supposed to be there. And now Secret Service is like, they keep up. It a secret. You're not funny. Any person becoming president after the next term is lucky. You'll definitely be better. You, you, I mean, you just, in your inaugural speech, you just have to say, I will be quicker, and the whole crowd will go crazy. The good thing about these two candidates is that now it's more possible that World War III can't happen. One, Trump knows how to make friends with chaotic people. Biden is tired. Both good qualities for peace. Mostly Biden. Yeah, but Biden looks like he's done with it. Bi Biden is the only person allowed to say, I woke up like this. Like, for these two candidates, for these two, like, if, and God forbid on this one, like, God really that forbid. something stupid. No, no, I, I'm, I'm actually, it's like, for real, God forbid on this one. For these two candidates, if the winner passes on mid the term, the loser will be like, I told you. Stupid.